Well, the British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, flying down to Southampton on a helicopter, has kicked up a storm within his own party. Well, in the backdrop of the country's cost of living crisis, questions have been raised on why Sunak chose to spend £6,000 on chopper travel, when a train, for instance, could have cost a fraction of that. Well, the Conservative Party leaders have come down hard on Sunak for what they call a waste of taxpayer money. The focus is on the fact that the 250 kilometre train journey would not have taken more than an hour, for instance. Well, Sunak has faced criticism earlier, too, for taking public funding flights around the country. More so after the Tories lost more than 1,000 seats in last week's local election, or since his appointment as the UK's Prime Minister. Rishi Sunak has been constantly under criticism regarding his wealth and lavish lifestyle, with opposition leaders even calling him Mr 1%. Well, the helicopter trip is likely to add to the public perception that the British Prime Minister, who has a net worth of £730 million, is out of touch with people's issues. Well, Sunak had travelled to Southampton to announce a new government health policy that aims at easing the general practice crisis in the UK. It allows pharmacists to provide prescriptions to patients now. Well, for more on the situation, we've got our London correspondent, Alex Isaac, joining us live from the capital. Alex, it just seems like Rishi Sunak, he can't do anything right these days. Well, he's definitely uh, not getting himself embedded into the, the UK perception, that's for sure. And at this crunch time when we're heading towards a general election, it, it does seem a bit, uh, a bit backhanded that he would do something so extravagant as this. Now, he also has been uh, commented on for his A-list lifestyle. Keir Starmer mentioned that back in January when um, the Prime Minister took a trip via an RAF jet up to York. And again, he could have used public transport. But this uh, recent uh, uh, visit down to Southampton, yes, he could have used the trains, but as uh, Lib Dem have actually said, the trains aren't even running on time. And actually, we do have another train strike ahead of us tomorrow. Of course, like, they were just mocking and they were not suggesting that he should be taking helicopters or planes anywhere. But he should be really thinking about how this looks to the general public. Talking about those, free, those prescriptions that uh, pharmacists may be able to give out. Well, on the other hand, we also have prescriptions going up in England alone. So people are having to pay more for their prescriptions, whether or not they come from a GP or a pharmacist. And also when it comes to those trains, as I said there, we've got another train strike tomorrow, but also the cost of trains are also going up. These things are really affecting the day-to-day -day lives of the public, whether or not Rishi Sunak decides to take a helicopter or a plane, whatever form of transport he may do. This is not going to be endearing him to the public, and he really does need that now as Conservatives lost so much in those local elections and they do need something miraculous to help them push through if they're going to look to win ahead of the next general election. Labour, Lib Dem are already talking about potential coalitions. Those rumours have already started and the UK is genuinely quite fed up about how their government is looking to become more stars. They want to be A-listers rather than actually they work for the UK public and they should be showing that more often. They are our government and they should be doing more for the cost of living crisis that is continuing. And again, of course, you know, your earlier guest was talking about how inflation isn't coming down anytime soon, but that's what people really want. They want to hear. I think we, I think we may have lost Alex there, but thank you very much indeed, Alex Isaac there, filling us in on our story of the cost of living crisis and the fact that Rishi Sunak took a helicopter as opposed to a cheaper option which would have been the train.